Hello, Powtoonists. Welcome to another session of uh, tips of how to use Powtoon. In this session, we're going to talk about the new style chooser. As you can see here, we have a, a new chooser that you might already see in the tool. Um, in order to switch between styles, you can use these arrows. Uh, you just click once and uh, the style that in the middle is the one that we see its libraries. You can also click on the style and it also makes the same, uh, the same function. Uh, as you can see here, we have two styles that are locked. This is the Mission Impossible style and the Rough Corporate style. Both of them can fit better to presentations than for uh, animated demo videos, but uh, you can use them for both. Uh, now, I want to talk about a specific issue with the marker style. Uh, as you can see, each, each style has its own uh, backgrounds, although some of them may, may be in a few uh, styles. For example, the paper background. Now, if I'm going to uh, mark a style, and I choose the whiteboard frame, and I put a character here, uh, as you can see, the character has no white fill in it. But if instead I would choose uh, a background for the picture style, then you can see that the character does have white fill inside. So the reason is that when I work with marker style, I usually want the character to look as if it was drawn on the board. So that's an additional filter we added to, to make it look that way. But when you import images, for example, see this image, I double click it and you see this is an image with white color in it. Now I copy the URL and I paste it here apply let's see what happens and as you can see the image just lost its white color so basically everything that was white gets the background color instead you see even here you can see what happens so this can work beautifully if you want your character to look as if it was drawn on the board but sometimes when you have a more realistic character you just don't want it to be that way so you should be aware that each of these backgrounds uh, in the marker style has the same effect so if you don't want that to happen you just have to pick a background from um, the picto style and now you can see that the white came back to the picture so uh, that's the tip for today uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.